Thanks, Tanya. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for attending NSAR Day 2021. I'm Donna Malone, uh, NSAR's incoming uh, president, and it is my privilege today to introduce Rob Rayner of CREA. Rob is the manager of industry development at CREA. He joined CREA in early 2020 and comes from a real estate background. Rob was a realtor member of CREA from 1999 to 2014. He worked as manager of operations at the Association of Regina Realtors for six years, supporting over 600 members and leading a staff of eight. One of Rob's primary roles at CREA is to support and strengthen the relationship between CREA, boards and associations, and external stakeholders. Welcome, Rob. Thank you for joining us today. I'm really looking forward to your presentation. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, pleasure to be here. I hope everybody can uh, hear me well and uh, see the slide that's up. And um, yeah, it's just uh, terrific to be able to uh, engage this way. I, I've started every presentation since the beginning of 2020 with, uh, I'd rather be in person. And today is no different. I'd rather be down there. Uh, but we should be extremely grateful we're living in these times where we're able to, to uh, really interact like this. Imagine going through this global pandemic even five years ago, 10 years ago, uh, it would be a much different time. So grateful for the opportunity that we have. Uh, so today we're going to set the stage and context around Canada's preeminent real estate website. Uh, this is not meant to be a full deep dive, a, a 360 on Realtor.ca and its tools, but it's really an action-packed snapshot of how powerful and important Realtor.ca is in the context of the Canadian real estate landscape. We're going to do this through some numbers today, some important numbers to recognize. Um, I am going to go through fairly quickly, but we will save time for questions uh, at the end as well. I'd like to also spend some time drilling down on some very Nova Scotia specific items uh, today. So let's kick things off with a number. Uh, and number one is number one. And it's because Realtor.ca is one component of a cross country collaborative and really a unifying system that Canadians can trust. Uh, it's supported by Realtors. It's backed by the local boards and associations, MLS systems and their rules the Realtor trademark, the Realtor code and standard of business practice, and the myriad of essential services that help you meet consumer needs. Uh, you know, it's this network that uh, you have built over the years. It's, it's extremely valuable. It's extremely unique, uh, especially when you look at the North American and global landscape. What Realtor.ca has and the position that it's in, along with the boards and associations and members, uh, it's just so unique. And it's a very trusted level of service uh, for the public as well. If your MLS system creates the primary efficient marketplace, which it does, then Realtor.ca really represents the national view of that collected uh, network of MLS systems across the country, really backs the day-to-day -day business uh, that you do. And so we look at this as an opportunity that when the consumer starts their search, they may not be connected with you. So when they visit Realtor.ca, every single time, this is an opportunity to drive business back to you. Uh, and really, again, it's just so unique what we've built here. And we look at the site from three distinct categories. We need to grow market share. We want to delight users with a friction-free search experience. And then ultimately, we want to generate high-quality leads for you. Our next number is 38, and 38 represents the uh, Realtor.ca 2020 website market share, according to Comscore. Uh, and so Realtor.ca is the market leader. Nearly 40% of all real estate consumers in Canada include Realtor.ca as part of their real estate search. And the performance of the site is really in uncharted territory. This graph represents the web traffic market share of the top 15 real estate portals, according to Comscore. And so Realtor.ca is that top red line that you see. All of the others are below. Now, we do see messaging out there that there are other sites that rival Realtor.ca in traffic and leads, but Comscore data suggests otherwise. And as well, it's really important to note here that out of the uh, 
the lines that you see in the bottom of this graph, eight of the top 10 sites listed here get their data from the realtor.ca DDF. And so we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, so really the reach to the consumer and driving leads uh, is really unequaled. In real numbers, this represents uh, over 374 million visitor sessions by 72 million visitors in 2020, huge numbers. And that's about a 30% increase year over year. So 29% from 2019. And when you look at Nova Scotia specifically, uh, we saw just about 3 million visitor sessions looking at Nova Scotia communities. You can see the breakdown on the chart. I'll just pause for a moment so you can digest that. Uh, the majority of that web traffic going to the largest urban centers of Halifax and Dartmouth, but uh, spread out uh, around the province. There's the, uh, the top 10. Um, and when we break down where that traffic is coming from, the majority of our user sessions are coming from inside the province of Nova Scotia, looking at Nova Scotia data. And the second biggest uh, source of visitor sessions to the site uh, looking at Nova Scotia is from Ontario, uh, which went up a little bit, um, about 12% uh, in 2020 from 2019. And then you can see sort of the regional breakdown from across the country. When you look at the demographics of visitors on Realtor.ca, looking specifically at Nova Scotia, it's that female contingent, 25 to 34, and the 45 to 54, that is the largest. When you include males, those are the two largest demographics looking at property in Nova Scotia. What's really interesting is a trend that we've seen across the board in 2020, It's a, and it's a shift right across the country, and it's that eight to 24 age bracket. It's really spiked in all regions of the country. This age group is becoming super engaged in the real estate search and in the prospects of home ownership. The other interesting trend we're seeing is a reduction in repeat buyers and a spike in first time buyers. Now that could be represented in that demographic shift as well. The other interesting thing to note is those identifying themselves as sellers coming to the site uh, to look at property. So this for us is a huge opportunity area for the site. Uh, as you know, when you have a site full of MLS system listings, you're going to attract obviously immense eyeballs from the buyer side, but what can we do to engage sellers on realtor.ca and not just buyers? So that's a question we've been asking ourselves and will be a focus uh, moving forward. Not surprisingly, Nova Scotia, like the rest of the country, is really at a point where it is it is mobile first. There's no question now uh, that the consumer is driving a lot of what they do from their mobile device. The majority of our visits are coming from mobile, and you can see the breakdown here. This is not a new trend, something we've been very aware of for a while. These numbers are Realtor.ca wide. Uh, so what this has led us to is the point where we're completely redoing and re-engineering the consumer facing app. Uh, it's out with beta testers right now. Uh, and you know what, uh, great new features, great search interface. It's, it's going to vastly improve the property search and the realtor engagement opportunities for the consumer. We really took this right down to the foundation and built it uh, right up again. So that's going to be out into the marketplace soon. Uh, our next number is 3.95, uh, and that just represents the staggering number of leads uh, to realtors in 2020. This is up 38% uh, from 2019. Uh, when you drill down to Nova Scotia, just over 37,000 leads from realtor.ca to Nova Scotia members. This is up almost 40% from 2019. So your region is seeing a trend that we're seeing right across the board. Uh, immense eyeballs and, and tons of leads uh, coming to you. Now we're adding tools to help you manage these leads when they come in. Uh, so this is where the listing stats app comes in. This is the member only app. So if you go to the app store, you search realtor.ca, you're gonna get two icons to choose from. The red icon will be the consumer facing app. The black icon is yours, member only. 
you can uh, track your listing performance. Uh, you can monitor listings and leads effortlessly from anywhere, anytime. You can respond to leads all within the app, get notified when your listing goes live on realtor.ca and when you receive a new lead, check consumer interactions with your listings, such as favorites and shares, the photo gallery and more. Uh, and we're continually adding features to the app and will continue to do so over time. Uh, so in 21, uh, there will be some enhancements. Some of the early releases are going to include the ability to share a full history of listing stats, make that shareable with clients as well, not just viewable. And as well, one that we've been asked about a lot and is coming very soon, the ability to pre-schedule reports that can go out to your clients. So a couple of really great enhancements. So if you have not downloaded the Listing Stats app, uh, I encourage you to do so. This leads us to our next critical number, which is 100. 100% uh, 100 of the more than 374 million leads generated from the site go directly to you as a member benefit. Uh, the site is, is genuinely designed to generate consumer traffic and then direct it to you. Uh, there's no competing agent on listing details. And of course, there's no referral fees on these leads. They come to you as a member benefit. Now, it's not just the volume of leads that are important to us. Lead quality is also critical. And we're enhancing features to improve our ability to better understand the consumer and then therefore increase the quality of leads that are coming to members as well. So our newly enhanced booking feature is now live. Uh, the consumer can easily indicate not just that they want more information on a property, but the fact that they'd actually like to see it and when they'd like to see the property. Uh, they can also indicate if they are working with a realtor. Uh, now, this is a really interesting field. It's a great data capture for us, and the consumer is loving this. 70% uh, of the consumers that are using the showing connector are actually indicating the agent that they're working with. So this is incredible data that we can start to leverage uh, once we start to uh, uh, get the consumer engagement on it. And uh, so far, so good. It's working really well. Uh, we are also going to enable text message preferencing in here. So uh, in the future, very soon, uh, the consumer can say, you know what, I want to be emailed or I want to be texted by the realtor. And this is, again, great data capture for us. In order to respond to a lead by text, you need to have the mobile number. So we're asking and mandating that mobile number if they opt into that text option. So that's great. It increases the quality of data that we're getting on the consumer and the potential buyer, and then passing that on to you. So we know consumers are visiting the site in droves. They're looking at the listing content on the site. Uh, they're also connecting with you on the site in huge numbers. And it, the next number really speaks to that brand awareness. 42 represents the direct traffic to the site. So amazingly, 42% of the time, the consumer types realtor.ca directly into the browser instead of using Google or another search engine as a starting point. So it's proving, again, that Canadians have a extremely strong affinity to the realtor brand. And the fact that just under half of real estate consumers visit the site, and they go directly there, just speaks to that incredible brand awareness. But what it also means is half don't. Um, so where do those other consumers come from? Well, one way is organic search. Now we could do an hour just on search engine optimization. Uh, and like the consumer hires you for your expertise, uh, we have specialists in their craft that help Realtor.ca dominate in the SEO world. Uh, our marketing department drives social engagement on a daily basis, all designed to reach the consumer where they are on those myriad of social channels. The national ad campaign is another tool to drive brand awareness and visits on the site. It fits nicely into that strategy of traditional media channels like television and radio, but also into those very important digital channels. And when it comes to referring sources of visitor traffic, it's a, it's a much bigger opportunity for us. We have the ability to leverage listing data 
to drive brand awareness on other platforms. And it's those other platforms that the consumer visits during their real estate journey. Loops us back to an important number that I referenced earlier. Uh, Comscore tells us that eight of the top 10 real estate websites in Canada get their listing data from realtor.ca DDF. So we syndicate your listings through DDF to a myriad of sites. We've developed important partnerships through DDF to display real estate listings on other platforms, all powered by realtor.ca. And so realtor.ca DDF drove nearly 654,000 additional email leads to realtors in 2020 through those real estate advertising websites, the partner sites such as Scotiabank, Globe and Mail, and TD. That's up 54% from 2019, so that's big. As well, uh, DDF allows members to easily add listings on websites when you use one of the 500 plus technology partners that have integrated with DDF. On top of the real estate advertising websites such as Kijiji, our partner sites are crucial in that brand awareness. Listing content is displayed on credible banking sites as the consumer goes through their financing journey, uh, currently Scotiabank and TD, and the Globes and other partner sites. So you have a credible news source displaying the most credible source of real estate listings. That's the MLS systems across the country, and also our new partnership with the McGilvery Group. Again, all of this is designed to keep Realtor.ca top of mind with the consumer. And remember that all of the leads that come off the listings from our partner sites go directly to you. They do not go through the partner sites to hand out. Uh, so repeat and referral business uh, is extremely important component of our business as well as we know it is for you. And did you know that 92% of consumers who have used the site in the past say they would use it again? That's up uh, from 77% in 14 and 88% in 17. So meeting consumer expectations becomes a critical component to remaining very relevant in a very busy and noisy space. The repeat business metric speaks to brand awareness um, and, and the majority of consumers who have used the site in the past indicate they will use it again the next time they wanna transact. So it is really paramount that we continue to maintain and develop features that connect and engage the consumer to you. That leads us to our next number, which is 11. Uh, consumers come to the site looking for more than just listings. They come looking for you as well. If you Google your name, uh, you're very likely to find your realtor.ca profile near or at the top of those search results. Uh, that's your digital business card. It's important for you to have lots of information about you on this page, languages, specialties, trading areas, links to your social media account. Uh, this information on your member profile is crucially important. As you can see, 11 million views in 2020 on Realtor.ca just on member profile cards. So this information comes to us from a couple of places. Normally it's from your member management system at the local board or through the MLS system provider portal. So for instance, Paragon, it comes in a data upload that comes to CREA. Uh, so in order to change your profile information, uh, you need to go into the member dashboard and then go to the My Info button. So all of the fields there can be pushed up to realtor.ca improving the quality of data on your member profile on the site. If you wanna update your photo, uh, which we uh, highly encourage people to do on a regular basis, uh, stay modern with your photo, uh, you can do that through the back end of Paragon. So go into user preferences and then agent image and you can upload your profile photo there and that will push through to the site. Um, another area that you can engage on your profile, which is really important, is uh, the rating services that we've linked with the site. Uh, we, we know over time and, and very recently, uh, consumers need validation of their big decisions. Uh, they just, they need that validation through their professional and through their peers. And they do that today 
through ratings and reviews. So this feature was added uh, a few years ago to the site. It's become extremely popular. Ratings just create that social proof that uh, decisions are being made and they're the right decisions. And it builds trust with a brand or a service provider. So currently rank my agent and real satisfied. Uh, if you are with one of those two rating services, you can link that to your realtor.ca profile. Um, rate my agent is pending. We're working on, on that. So before I jump into UX, the uh, user experience, I do see that a couple of questions have popped in here. So I'm gonna open the chat uh, and just see if those are questions or just comments. Um, okay, it looks like uh, that was just sort of, sort of some comments to you. Uh, if you do have any questions, uh, by all means, uh, put them in there and we will have some time at the end for questions, okay? So now that we have uh, visitors, we need to continually enhance the experience and that's called UX or user experience. And at the heart of that is quality data. It's data that's generated by you through your MLS listings and through partnerships. When the consumer gets more context around their search, they're more likely to convert into a lead. And our stats show us about 48% more likely when they get their questions answered. Context is king. And Realtor.ca has been layered with many new content sources, neighborhood profiles, lifestyle indicators like walking and cycling and transit, school catchment, sold price history, virtual tours, live stream open house, and a deeper financial deep dive into lifestyle costs so that the consumer and uh, you know these new buyers have information as they go through their real estate journey. So this helps make the site sticky, helps keep them there. Uh, things like school catchment areas, for instance, heat maps are great because it, it allows you to show context of the neighborhood around your listing. Uh, our partnership with Local Logic has been uh, very beneficial. It's just delivering hyper-local hyper information on communities that interest the consumer. Home affordability is a big component moving forward for us. We're doing a lot of work in this area. Uh, actually, your market was one of three uh, that we piloted home affordability in, Edmonton, Ottawa, and Halifax. Uh, focused on delivering metrics around the true cost of living in a home, we know that the consumer lives in the monthly payment, not necessarily the list price, just like you know that. So we want to give them some more context on that. So the pilot went really well. Uh, we're analyzing that data now and then determining how we want to improve the experience and continue on with that program. We're leveraging best-in-class technology to give a consumer a look at properties before they physically go. Obviously, this has never been more important than the time of this pandemic. We are not playing catch up on this. We've had this for a long time on the site. It's just been really important when things get locked down and mobility is uh, less than it was uh, a couple of years ago. Consumers love to engage with this type of uh, media on listings. Um, they are almost 50% more likely to convert into a lead on listings with virtual immersive content. So if this is not part of your marketing efforts on your listings, I highly recommend you make it part of your basket of goods. One of the suggestions that we get constantly um, is the ability to add more than one video or multimedia experience on a listing. We hear you. Uh, and that is functionality that we are working on right now. So you'll be able to have more than one video on a, an individual listing. So stay tuned for that. Uh, floor plans becoming increasingly important. Uh, this is a, a consumer metric out of the United States, uh, but we know consumer metrics between the two countries are very similar, very underserved area. Many consumers are looking for floor plans. Very few listings have them. So I would encourage you to start adding that into your uh, marketing efforts as well. Um, getting an accurate size of the property uh, from a floor plan can also be very advantageous. It's because the most requested data on the site, not surprisingly, has been historically the data that's been hardest to come by. Consumer tells us overwhelmingly they wanna see a rich history on the property they're interested in 
as well as its current status. Previous sold price is the most requested piece of data, followed by property size. So very important uh, data for the consumer. They just simply want to know how big these properties are that they're looking at. Floor plans are a great way of getting accurate square footage and not relying on expensive and somewhat unreliable public records data. You know, if we could get Marty to fire up that flux capacitor, get us back to February 8, 2006, we're very close to the anniversary date, uh, we'd see a very interesting and a very controversial time because that's the day that Zillow launched the first iteration of their Zestimate tool in the United States. 300,000 pages were viewed within the first seven hours of launching it. It completely crashed the site. What Zillow was doing was filling a hole in the marketplace at the time that the consumer was not getting from the realtor community. Yet we've seen the use of realtors go up exponentially since then. 15 years later, valuation tools on major real estate portals in the United States like Zillow and Realtor.com, very commonplace. What this tells us is that the consumer doesn't need you for data points. The internet can do that. They want you for your advice and your knowledge. The consumer has this insatiable appetite for housing data and sites that deliver data get visits and visits equal leads. We're working to deliver more and better statistical sites, uh, uh, tools to the site. Uh, we wanna leverage the best marketing analysis tool there is, and that's the home price index. So that's something that we're working on right now for the site. We're focused on creating a one-to-one -one consumer experience. So if you think about the experience you have when you go to Amazon or go to Netflix and how it curates that content for you based on what you've done before, we have a similar listings feature on the site now that is sort of the first iteration of that. But we want each consumer to think that Realtor.ca was designed specifically for them. One of the ways we're doing this is through customized video. So we are piloting a program with a company called Blue Rush, delivers customized videos about the listings and the neighborhoods that they're in. Uh, these videos come to you uh, in the email notification you get when your listing is live on the site. It's easily shareable and it helps add some context to the area surrounding your listing. So hope you're finding that valuable. We're looking at leading edge technology and how we can react to consumer needs. This includes building on top of voice platforms. These devices are obviously becoming extremely affordable, very commonplace. Uh, it's early. Uh, if you think about the most popular apps on the iPhone in the few months after it came out, they are much less sophisticated than they are today. So this is really the land grab uh, for the voice world. We're very early in this, but we're just getting a feel for what the lay of the land is and where voice is going. It's, uh, it's going to be the next burgeoning area. We're also working on leveraging data that's not housing related. So we're working with data scientists to go beyond the world of three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Predictive analytics, consumer habits, open data, brand integrations, these are all areas that will benefit the site because it will engage consumers with meaningful information. And when that happens, uh, they convert into leads for you. Uh, when it comes to data and collecting data points for members use and business analytics, uh, you might've heard of a project uh, we have on the back burner really, it's called Buyer Path. It's a pilot at this point. Uh, we're testing it out in a few markets just to see what the engagement is like. But the goal of Buyer Path is to collect one simple piece of information that can be then leveraged to tell you where buyers are coming from in your marketplace and conversely, where you can focus your marketing efforts, both in your personal marketing and your referral marketing uh, initiatives. So buyer path takes the postal code of where the buyer came from and then plots it in an interface that allows you to search and identify those regions. Uh, the beta of the product is currently in Kamloops Kootenai region uh, in British Columbia. And it's giving them some very high level statistics of where folks are coming from into that region. So if you look at the pie chart, it's just an example of a breakdown. Uh, you can see, for instance, that you know, uh, 48 
folks over the course of, and I did this over the last few months, I just did a search metric. We're coming from Fraser Valley, uh, but not only can they do the region, say Alberta, which is obviously very large and generic, but they can drill right into the postal code of where those folks from Alberta are coming from. So you can do a map view with a detailed look at where this migration is originating from. There's a map uh, showing these plots in BC. Uh, and this screenshot is from Calgary and the surrounding bedroom communities around Calgary, Cochrane and Airdrie and Chestermere. So this is a Kamloops member looking at the map of Calgary, seeing pinpoints as to where buyers have come from into their marketplace. So again, uh, really great business intelligent to know where the, uh, the buyers are uh, originating from. So again, this is in a very much a pilot phase. Uh, we wanna definitely roll this out over the course of 21 uh, as we get more boards that are interested in this type of business intelligence. We really call this a field of dreams product. Uh, the analogy there is you need to build it before they come. So without the postal code data, the product doesn't really render a lot of usefulness. So we're encouraging boards to build up a database over a number of months of buyer originating postal codes so that when the product is launched, it has a lot of data in it and become, becomes instantly valuable. So again, that's just a little snapshot of a, of a really neat product that uh, we're working on. So I guess, what does all of this mean? Uh, where does this leave us? Well, it really comes down to this, that high quality data equals high quality leads. And the goal is to answer more questions that the consumer has, because the more high quality leads we can generate if we answer those questions. At the heart of all of this is really meeting the consumer where they are, delivering amazing content and amazing search experience so that we can deliver high quality leads to you. And I'm just gonna finish up on a couple of other numbers that I think are important. And I talked about the Canadian landscape as well. So our next number is 32.3. This speaks to the power of the transaction that Realtor.ca helps you facilitate. So Realtor.ca is obviously the public facing real estate portal that's supported by 135,000 realtors across the country. What it does though, and what you do is make CREA one of Canada's largest single industry associations. There's a lot of power in that. 32.3 represents the effect of that size and the importance that what you do every day has an immense impact on the Canadian economy. Real estate sales generated by realtors creates $32.3 billion in spin-off spending. So that's ancillary spending by home buyers on items beyond the actual house and land and it produces over 234,000 direct and indirect jobs every year. So what you do every day has an incredible impact on the overall Canadian economy. And 310 speaks to, and I'll do a little pitch here, the incredible value that you get uh, from your annual 310 uh, to CREA. The last time this was increased was in 2011. Uh, so it's that lobbying with the federal government promoting the value of working with realtors and the realtor brand and providing members with valuable products. So when you think about this lobbying effort that our GR team does on a daily basis, if you think back to the beginning of the pandemic, the CERB program was not open to realtors and independent contractors when COVID started, but it was through the lobbying efforts of CREA that realtors benefited from that much needed help during that original 55 day lockdown. So these lobbying efforts do pay off and you're part of it because you're driving that. Uh, products like web forms, MLS home price index, the realtor.ca suite of tools, including the website, consumer app, uh, the leads, the listing stats app for members, the realtor.ca DDF. So it's again, tremendous value with a relatively small budget when we look at ourselves compared to those larger private sector portals that have virtually unlimited resources, uh, we're competing against them and we're doing it with um, uh, starting with that 310 that comes from members. So uh, there's uh, four sites that I wanna leave you with. Uh, Crea.ca, get everything you need to know about COVID and how to handle that as a realtor. 
uh, hub.realtorlink.ca is a really great website. That's your educational resources. So everything from web forms training all the way up to questions about DDF and realtor.ca, uh, everything is on hub.realtorlink.ca. Member.realtor.ca is where you can engage with your listing stats as well as DDF permission settings. And the insights report, which we didn't touch on today, which is just a massively valuable resource for you. This gets into the mind of the consumer as they visit the site and the new report is being generated just as we speak. So watch for the brand new insights report to land soon on insights.realtor.ca. And so with that, I know that is a, a fire hose of information very quick uh, through that. Uh, but I will stop my screen share. And if we have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer. Thank you, Rob. So I would invite anyone who has a question to put it into the Q&A. And we do have one from Donna. Can you tell us about international activity on Realtor.ca? Uh, yeah, I, I can go at a very high level. Uh, that in itself is an entire other presentation, just like this one. Uh, our CREA global team has done incredible work uh, over the last few years in engaging both other realtor members uh, globally, but driving consumer eyeballs. There are landing pages created for a number of countries. So for instance, if you're coming to realtor.ca from the United States, it's a very curated landing page for those US visitors, uh, just like uh, it is for other countries like the United Kingdom, et cetera. So um, I know that's not detailed information, but there's a ton of resources um, for CREA Global uh, on CREA.ca as well. So yeah, they're just doing incredible work. Thanks, Rob. We do have another question from John. How many users of Realtor.ca are uh, foreign, uh, either from the US and Europe? Uh, great question, John. Uh, I do not have the answer to that, but uh, I will make a note of that and I will get that information for you. Thank you. All right, any other questions from our attendees? I'll just give it a minute, Rob. Yeah, you bet. Um, uh, so a uh, question from Helen, how do I get the Realtor Professional app? Uh, she has tried, but only get the public site. Uh, so if you go into your app store, so if you're on the iPhone, go into the app store. If you're on Google uh, or an Android device, go into the Google Play Store and you search um, Realtor.ca, uh, both apps should come up. The red one being the consumer app, uh, the black one being the uh, member app. But what I'll do is I will send uh, the board the uh, links to both place to do both app stores so that maybe that could uh, be something that goes out to members. Yes, we'll get that out. Thank you, Rob. We'll put that in the weekly news. Yeah. All right, any other questions? All right, I don't see any further questions. And before our little prize draw, uh, Rob, I'd like to invite Donna back to close the session. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. Uh, that was a great re uh, presentation. And on behalf of uh, all of our members who are uh, sitting in on the session, I'd like to say that uh, I'm sure everybody um, learned a few new things and are more appreciative of some of the things that CREA does for us. Um, so thank you so much. And uh, now everybody stay on, on, the, in, on the line as we draw for our third $25 gas gift card. Over to you, Tanya. Thank you very much. Hey, thank, and uh, Thank you very thank much, Donna and Tanya. I'll drop off and uh, thanks everybody. And um, we look forward to chatting with you uh, very, very soon.